Media, I think. Excellent. Hello, I'm Stephen Berry, and thanks for joining us today at Soft Vision, where we're looking at Ball and Delphi. And joining me from Ball and we have Guy. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Pretty good, thanks. Okay, I'd like to um, perhaps just start out with looking at what you do at Ballin for those people that haven't seen you before. Okay. Um, I'm the product marketing manager for Ballin's development tools, and that's not only, of course, uh, Delphi or, or, or Delphi. Mm. Um, it's, uh, it's all of the C++ products and all the tools surrounding those as well. Yes. Um, so it's a broad range of, uh, of products, but obviously Delphi today. And you're a pretty familiar face on the, uh, the presentation circuit, aren't you? Um, unfortunately, yes. <laughs> We've seen you once or twice. <laughs> I'd like to start out, you've uh, just mentioned Delphi or Delphi. I mean, what is the official pronunciation? Well, yes, they're, they're really is no official pronunciation. If you if you come from America, then you end up calling it Delphi, and mm -hmm. I talk to Americans all the time, hence my occasional slip, but I'm going to try and, and call it Delphi throughout the entire video, because I think that's probably the cor correct pronunciation mm -hmm. of, the, of, the, of the product. What is the product exactly, and, and who is it designed for? Okay. Um, well, the product is, is what you term a rapid application development environment mm -hmm. um, designed for developers. Um, it's designed for a, a broad range of developers, right from people who, who in fact, are starting programming, if you like. Maybe mm -hmm. they've done some development work in a, in a, in a database-style yep. product, and they want to move into a true development environment. Mm -hmm. um, but also, it's applicable to C++ programmers who want to get some programs written faster than is possible with some C++ um, products. Um, so it's, it's a broad range of developers, really. Yes. But if you've got experience in any of those, you won't have a problem with it. Okay. And what sort of things are we going to focus on? What sort of areas of programming will we look at today? Okay. We're going to look at a broad range of programming areas right from producing a very simple Windows application through to producing a, an application that includes um, multimedia, mm -hmm. database access, yep. um, all of the things that you need really in a modern Windows application. Great. Okay, well, I think uh, obviously we've got a lot to get through, and I've seen some of the sample files you were preparing for, some of the little programs you've yes. developed, and uh, a few bells and whistles and interesting things to show us throughout the video, so we should make a start. Just a few tips on how to watch the film first. Uh, it's not a feature film, so don't try and watch it all from start to finish. Simply fast forward to the section that you want to learn about, and we've got a little on-screen clock there to help you get there. Okay, should we make a start? Yes. I'd like to just perhaps concentrate on some of these icons to begin with, and uh, already we can see a bit of a Greek theme coming through. <laughs> Yes. Um, <clears throat> well, there's a great deal of icons, obviously, to, to, to go through. I'm just going to skip briefly through to describe each individual one. If we look at, first of all, the database desktop, this is one of the tools that actually comes with Delphi. Um, and it's a tool that enables you to manipulate data, create tables. Yep. Um, it's, you could think of it as a, as, a, as a mini version of Paradox, if you like. And in mm -hmm. fact, it looks like that. Secondly, um, there's a reporting tool, so any database application needs to be able to, to, to provide reports to, uh, to users, and we provide a reporting tool called ReportSmith um, to do that. Are these separate applications? They are separate applications, mm -hmm. yes. Um, and then thirdly, the main Delphi development environment, um, this is the, the main environment that you'll be working in most of the time that has all of the tools, the compiler, the components, all the other things that I'm going to show you later on. Yep. Um, the database engine configuration. Um, this is uh, a way you set up uh, the database side of your application. Um, you set up the engine on, on an individual PC, mm -hmm. and we'll go into that later as well. There's some local configuration options as well from this uh, little tool here uh, to set up the database configuration once again. Various options. These two are for generating, not ge generating and incorporating help files um, into the system. So there's, a, there's some, some help to be had there as well. Sure. Um, these two are related to uh, something I'm going to talk about later on in the video called the local interface server. It's a full relational database server. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't want to use the traditional file type database approach, you want to use a relational database server, we provide one in the package called interbase, and they, these two are related to that. Okay. Um, man Delphi manuals, these are actually, rather than online help, we thought it would be useful as well to provide the actual manuals um, in the same form that they look on the printed page. Mm. Um, so they're all provided online as well. It's a bit kinder on the rainforest as well. Certainly is, yes. Um, then obviously there's, there's a, a, a whole host of help yes. files um, that we provide. So there's the, the standard Delphi yep. help file that has all of the, um, the context-sensitive help sure. to navigate you around the Delphi environment. The Windows API help file, um, which documents the entire Windows API, the Windows application programming interface to describe how to use Windows and how to program Windows. And, and Delphi gives you full access to the APIs? Absolutely, yes, it does. Okay. Um, component writers help. Um, that's not going to mean a great deal right now, but it's a help file to, to, enable, to enable you to actually write new components. I'll describe what components are later on in the video. Okay. Um, help file to, to help you create Windows help files as mm. well. Um, the database engine configuration help file. SQL reference or structured query language. That's a help file to describe how to, um, to write in the structured query language. Um, 
and the, uh, t two other help files to do with uh, debugging here alongside these two debugging tools here called WinSpector and WinSight. Sure. That and, goes to make up the whole thing. And presumably you can call up these help files within Delphi as well. Certainly. Yes, you can indeed. Good. So let's get Delphi running, then we can move on to the uh, first chapter and make a start. And I want you to do doing the installation. It's pretty seamless, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, the installation, especially off CD-ROM drive, um, you, know, you don't have to load in uh, masses of floppy disks. It just installs um, seamlessly uh, from the CD-ROM drive. Right. Okay, what it's doing now, it's loading in all of the components that we've uh, installed in the system you see at the top here. That's loaded in now. Okay, good. Well, here we are now, and we'll move on now and have a look at the first chapter where you're going to show us one of your sample applications. Sample applications.